I have on my left here the, uh, a placard that was prepared for us by the landscape architect who did the site plan uh, for the park. The plan was uh, funded by, uh, co-equally by the Friends of Morton Mine, the Regional District of Nanaimo, the City of Nanaimo, and the Province of British Columbia. So it's a, a joint effort. The uh, architect was, the landscape architect was Jessica Gamella. Her company did the work. And this is the overall view of the site that she developed that's part of her report. I just wanted to point out a few features of this to, uh, to our viewers. The main structure for Morden is indicated here right in the center of the diagram. Right now, people come into the park and they park along this part of the, the structure and they look north towards the structure. What we want to do is move parking away from there and to properly landscape that area with a proper buffer with the neighbors and move the parking right back towards the east side of the park where uh, we would have a, a parking area developed that would be bus friendly, you could say. And then there would be vistas out over the site. We also would like to have an enhanced trail system around the park. Uh, last summer, we actually put in the first of, we hope, uh, several trails that will uh, wind through the site because beyond the structures that you've seen a lot of in the video, there's some interesting old ruins here and there in the forest where the forest is actually growing up around them. And uh, that lends itself to some interesting landscape architecture work. We also have uh, facilities that we would like to put in. And one of the ideas incorporated in John Hoffman's uh, artistic rendition, uh, rendition of the future of this site was the notion of having a, a terraced area over here where we could have sound and light shows perhaps in the evening and the interpretation center itself, which would be in this area looking out towards the structure. On this far side of the uh, site now where there is a road, this would be restored to a pathway, which would be part of the trail system that goes down to the uh, Nanaimo River and eventually will cross the river and join up with the rest of the regional trail system in Cedar. So in the future, this uh, conception of the park is one in which it becomes a, a major attraction for recreational purposes for educational purposes and uh, for just all round enjoyment on a year round basis. That's the theme that we're working with as we uh, work with the government to try and do the improvements on the structure. The very first thing that needs to be done though is to fix this structure. Without it being fixed, there's no point in doing anything else. So although we have developed one trail within the last year or so and provided some other amenities such as interpretive signs, there's really not much more that can be done until we have the commitment to fix the structure. That commitment is a, really a two-stage affair. The first is to stop it really from falling down. The second is to do an overall rehabilitation that uh, will preserve the structure well into the future. And although it will require maintenance in the future, it should last indefinitely. Uh, the next stage after that is the stage where we think the public and our society will have a big role to play and that is to find the funding to build this interpretation center that was shown on, on John's uh, rendering of the future of the site. That, that will be a major community effort. And we've suggested to the government that uh, they, because of the overall problem of parks being underfunded over the last few decades, that a way to start improving things would be to enter into partnership agreements with various groups uh, such as ours to uh, raise money to help fix parks or to develop amenities in parks and that, that in that way gradually the we could say the deficit in park spending could be corrected and we will have a, a brighter future for all parks. We're, we're suggesting that Morden could be a bit of a model for the government to consider and the, that idea of community partnership with the government could be extended to other parks in the province.